and welcome back to our Toronto Maple Leafs GM Youth Edition. Uh, it's the day before the draft, so we're going to get into that. Not a bad finish to last season, of course. Uh, so we'll be trying to strengthen them with a couple of picks that we do have. Now, I did get a comment from uh, Serge, and he said to go and check out some of these players that we've missed from uh, some of the other drafts. Now, I've gone through. It's pretty fucking hard to do that. Uh, I basically had to go through every single team's roster and look for these players and see if I could find any of them. Um, some of them I could not find. Whether they didn't grow, they fucked off, no idea. A couple of them are looking pretty good. Um, Rooch in the center is an 89 overall, and he's playing for Vancouver at the moment. Uh, so could possibly make a play for him, but um, I'll just see what we need to do, what we get from the draft and that sort of thing. Most of the other kids were, were in that low 80s. Um, if anything, so I think we've got the cream of the crop for most of the guys that I went and looked for um, The only other one will be uh, Nesbitt the goalkeeper we missed out on in the first draft He's an 88 and he's playing for Calgary, but we've got Dylan who's an 87 So, you know, it, I can go and try and get some of these players or we can just use the real players It'll just depend on what I can do money wise and that sort of thing, but let's get into this draft all right, so I managed to uh, trade our first pick from 2024 plus one of the later picks in this round to get the number one draft pick off fucking Colorado. So let's go and see if there's anyone worth taking in the number one pick spot. All right, I am going to go for Appleby. He is the best defender that I can see here. He's predicted to go in the top 10. I feel just that we do need another defender, especially uh, coming through from the minors. Though Some of those kids were only in 60 and having to play. So... Another good defender uh, to help out, and uh, hopefully he's good enough to play in the first team straight off the cat. All right, so Fitzgerald was a power forward. He went to the Senators. Uh, a playmaker went to the Blackhawks. An elite forward in Kang Kerr, Karkner, went to San Jose. An elite power forward went to LA. A top six forward went to the Rangers. Uh, a right winger in Paul went to New Jersey and we've got pick number eight. Okay, let's go and have a look and see if there's some cream of the crop. All right, I'm going to take uh, Zykov here, um, another defender. I just want to really strengthen up the Marlies and hopefully they can come through. He's got some pretty good stats there and he's an offensive defenseman, so hopefully he can get forward and maybe score a few goals. A uh, little bit of pace, not too bad. Um, yeah, from Russia. Right, so those were the two picks that we had. We must have traded the West away, but number one and number eight, two defenders to come in and help out uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs this season. Now, I will have a look at the free agency list, try and strengthen this side because I really want to make a push uh, to make the Stanley Cup this season. All right, so let's have a quick look here, and Sexton needs to be tendered, that is for sure. And offer him a contract without a shadow of a doubt. He needs to stay with this team forever. All right, so our number one pick, uh, Appleby. He's 18 years of age and he's a 70 overall. So um, we're definitely going to offer him a contract. Get him straight into the club. And Zikov, who was our other pick, will offer him a contract. All right, so I'm just going to go through and uh, sort out the rest of the contracts. We'll be back shortly. All right, I've got a little bit of a problem here. Keston Gway needs to be re-signed, uh, but we're out of salary cap at the moment. So I'm going to have to hope that I can trade some players off very, very quickly, free up some cash, and get Kasten Gway on a contract before he decides to leave. Uh, not sure what I've done. I've probably just given some cunt too much money, but oh well, we'll just have to grim and bear it and hopefully we can hold on to him. Well, I managed to get Kasten Gway back. Yeah, he went to the free agency list. I freed up some cash uh, by selling off Bjorkstrand. Um, he was on seven million, so uh, yeah. Sweet, Kasten Gway's back. Okay, so here we go. I'll just run through the starting lineups and that sort of thing before we get into the season. We've still got Kreider up front with Ma and Glennie on the right-hand side. The second line is Campbell, who we've just picked up from the free agency list. Uh, Korpakari and uh, Scrivens. Nimi, O'Burn, and Lemaire. So Korpakari's gone up uh, higher than O'Burn now, so that's nice. Uh, Mercia, I've brought Adams up, even though we've got Legas, who's an 84. I've sent him down to the minors because it's the fourth line. And I'm hoping Adams can lift, because uh, he was a pretty decent pickup. Uh, and Askew, who we picked up. Uh, defensively, we've got Sexton and Winquist, 92 and 90. That's brilliant. Still got Yossi, the old boy. He's dropped off a bit. Castanguay is uh, 85. And then we've got Elsner and Smith. So still a little bit of uh, room to move there in the defensive lines. Uh, if we go and look at the goalkeeper... Dylan is an 89 and Tutu is an 88. So those kids have grown nicely and uh, a decent starting 
uh, lineup there for the goalkeepers. If we go to the Marlies, all right, what have we got here? Goldburn we've picked up, Legas in the middle, uh, Soderstrom, uh, Ryan, uh, Chevrier, Lapierre, Theron, Galinas, uh, Matthias, and then we've got Lawrence, Bergeron, and Kreider. The defensive line is probably not the strongest. Uh, we've got Lacosta and Anderson. Uh, Lacosta could come into the first team, just trying to get him a bit more time. Uh, Pushkarev and Dennis. And then we've got Galati and Zikov, who we just picked up from the, the draft. The other young kid, unfortunately, is, uh, I think it's to do with being Canadian or something, so he's not available to play. Uh, I think he has to sit out for a season or qualify for some shit. I just, I've got no fucking idea. Uh, I always forget about that kind of crap. And if we go to the goalies, we have uh, Desklu, who I picked up from the free agency. He looked all right. He's 27, though. And uh, Emerson, uh, I think we had him last season. So that is our full two teams. Hopefully that's enough to sort of get us back into this. Uh, hopefully some of those kids grow early on and we really cement our spot uh, in the finals towards the end of the season. Let's simulate through the friendlies and get into the first month so you at least get one game in this episode. All right, so preseason uh, started off with a loss, a win, a win. So some big wins there, 7-1 against Detroit and then a couple more losses. And uh, another win and then a loss in October. All right, time to get into season 2023. And, uh, well... Fuck it, let's take the Bruins on. Greetings everyone with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich and we have a team tonight that is coming off a win. Probably feel pretty good about themselves. What do you tell them? Well, you tell them let's play the same way we did in the prior game, Doc. They did everything that they wanted to get accomplished. They managed to puck extremely well. They got timely goals. They played really well without the puck in their own zone. And Let's worry about what we can do, not necessarily what the other team's strengths are. The Bruins got to stick to the game plan here tonight, Doc. They played a real good team game in their prior win. And one of the reasons for that, they had great communication both on and off the ice. Let's see if that continues here tonight. We direct our attention. All right, here we go. Brad Dillon in between the sticks. And we're on a pretty poor run here at the start of the season. Uh, a 2 4 and 0. That's not so hopefully Dilsey can come through with the goods today and uh, we want to win this one. Regardless of that, it must come down. All right, here's Ma. And we love playing with Ma. He's an aggressive man. Kreider. Galeni. Galeni on a push forward. And he flicks it around the back. He's going to get it himself, is he? Oh, Ma with a nice crushing blow. All right, come on, lads. Sexton. Glennie shoots. He's put it wide. It's Ma. Ma picks it off. Back to Sexton. Shot. And another save. And they come through. And they've got us here on the counter. Here's Kropakari. Kropakari. Oh, and he's worked the keeper there. Here we go, Scrivens. Kropakari tries again. Carlo brings it down. And that'll be the end of the first period at nil all. All right, second period here at the Air Canada Centre. The passion that unites us all is real here in Toronto. Come on, lads. Oh, my God. Every fucking time from downtown. How the fuck do you defend that shit? Go and eat a dick. Fucking wank up here, Luke. Sort of a name is Pierre Luke. Man, it's got to be frustrating from the goaltender's perspective. You're in the right spot. You think you have one nil down. Covered, but there's just there's Ma pushing forward. Oh, just gets wrecked. And normally that's what he would be doing to other motherfuckers. But he's just being cleaned up. That's going to piss him off enough. He's going to be on a fucking warpath here, is Ma. And he tries, but Dylan with a good save. Feeds it off. Oh, where was the shot? Goldburn. Elsnar feeds it off. He's got it. Oh, good save. Oh, come on, lads. Fuck me. Oh, what do we need to do here? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck off. Counter-attack play there from the Bruins. And it's fucking 2-0. We have three fucking decent shots. And they just come straight up the other end. Fuck off, Dilsey. What was that, mate? Fucking shut your legs, you slut. 
and the shot goes up over top of him. Fuck! Boston's got a two-goal lead now. You have to go to this area. You gotta find and that's the end of the second period. At 2 0 down now. Fuck me. All right, third period, and can we fight our way back into this game? It's been a piss poor performance here from the Maple Leafs. Unable to beat this goalkeeper. I think he's like 90 odd rated or something, so it was never going to be an easy task. Oh, Ma just drops him on his face. Get in there. Oh, that's a big hit. Oh, that's a big hit from Ma. It's Kreider. Feeds it off. Oh, Ma can't get through. Oh. Fuck me. What do I need to do to score? It's one of those games where you just need to suck the ref's dick. Lemaire has it. Who the fuck were you passing to, you fucking goose nut? Fucking turnover central. Oh, and he's fucking saved that one too, you prick. Fuck me. Fuck off. Dolly is fucking an absolute brick wall. Come on. Right off, fucking shoot, you fucking dumb cunt. Oh, that is yocked. Fucking get in there. Someone do something with your lives. You're an absolute bunch of fucking useless cunts today. Oh, what was that, you fucking muppet? Toronto starting back in their own end. To Alsner. Directing that one to Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Fuck off. Oh yeah, have another goal there, you dickhead! For fuck's sake! What a load of shit this game's been. Fuck me, it should have just gone out the back and had a wank instead of playing this shit. Fucking get it in the net, you fucking useless fucking cunts, man! Fucking pathetic! And we fucking lose 3-0, what a fucking piece of shit game that was. Right, so at the end of October, we are sit 4, 6 and 1. That loss really pissed me off. Uh, we managed to pick up a win there against Buffalo. Uh, a couple of good wins there. And a couple of absolute smashings. Uh, but 4, 6 and 1, that's not a bad start to the month. The Marlies are flying on 5 and 2. Um, so yeah, good start to the season. Don't mind it, hopefully we can work it into it. Um, yeah, I might have to make some trades and see if I can bring some bigger and badder and better players into this team if we really want to fucking scrounge it out for a, uh, a playoff spot. But, you know, just start of the season. Hopefully we're just easing into it. But that's where we're going to leave it today. Thanks very much for tuning in. Leave me some comments down below, and I'll see you next time. I'm Siren DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one. He's streaming towards goal. Can he fucking get one? He shoots. Oh, Joel! Look at the size of him. Oh, he's an angry beast. Look at the face on this lad.